welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Another vlogoween video coming at ya. Today we are doing another decorate with me video. This is my like... I don't know, it's another part of my living room. You guys saw my mantle before, um, which is right over there. Now this is the other side of the room. So it's like, usually this is kind of what you guys see from my background. The little, I don't know, a couple tables, my little shelf, and then, I don't know, this is kind of the two different little gallery walls. So what I wanted to do today, we're gonna decorate this shelf right here and this table right here. I'm also gonna be decorating, you can see this huge entryway. There's my front door. Um, I'm gonna decorate this entryway with a bunch of garland and lights, but I think I might do that off camera because it's just gonna mostly be me and Craig trying to hang everything and that's just gonna be awkward. And I have some lights. They were sent to me by a company. I'm gonna be trying those out for you guys. Um, I'm really excited because the last lights we got to try out, the spotlights on the mantle, oh my gosh, game changer for me. So I'm really excited. The pictures for the, the lights I got, look really nice. They look real. A lot of people use them outside for their lights. It's just um, some orange and purple is what I chose. So I'm really excited to see it. I think it's gonna look really cool with all the different garlands and just give this, I don't know, a really nice glow. I gotta say, I really love when places or even people's houses do like the garlands over the different entryways and doorways because I just think it looks so like grandiose. It reminds me of like those fancy houses you see in the magazines that, especially when it comes to like Christmas, but you see for other holidays, but they're like super decked out. Everything is just so like, I don't know, fantastical. It just seems very like something you would see in a castle or I don't know, it's just very, beautiful and exciting to me and I've I've done some garlands before usually it's just like one garland over the doorway but when the company reached out to me and was like hey do you want to try these lights I was like I have the perfect place for these because I've been wanting to do something like that over like the entryway um doorway so I'm really really excited I think it's gonna look cool I'll try and show what I can of that aspect but for now we're gonna work on these two shelves I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing this area I'm gonna do mostly kind of like Victorian-esque style, not 100% Victorian, but it's owed to Victorian era, I guess. Some like kind of creepy Victorian, some uh, very, <laughs> a lot of bats, very vampire-esque too. See, my little batsy batsy right here. I love, I mean, I have a bat necklace. I love bats. So I kind of wanted to do this as like Victorian vampire bat. So think very what we do in the shadows, honestly, is my ode to this essentially. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get started. I do have some branchy trees on this shelf and then up there with my little ghosty ghosty lady. I got me our Cracker Barrel ghost. I got her last year. Um, I was so, so excited to snack her. Her name is Mrs. Beauregard because I just love that. It seems like a very old Southern name. So I thought, <laughs> I don't know. She seemed like a ghost from the south in like the 1800s you know i'm getting that kind of vibe so i love her um she stays up there year round i added some branchy trees already this little spider web lamp i don't know if you guys can see it it'll zoom in on it spider web lamp i got it this year at home goods i love it i think it's so so beautiful i'm probably just gonna keep that up year round too because i don't know i'm very like <laughs> i love color but also a little bit of spooky with it so that's just like my year-round aesthetic essentially. Let me stop a blabbering away and let's just go ahead and get into the decorating. I know, okay, start on this little bit lower shelf right here. I know what I wanna do for it. Let me zoom in on it so you guys can see a little bit better. I do have some little string lights here. These are kind of like little cauldron lights. Um, some of them have like little jack lantern faces. I got that, I don't know, maybe even Dollar Tree last year. It was already in my in my decorating bin. So I've had it previously, but I have a feeling I got it at Dollar Tree. It looks like something I would have gotten from there. So I have those hanging up already because I knew that I wanted them to be there. Let's start with this candle holder. This is the one I thought I was gonna use on my mantle, but I decided to do something else. But I feel like this just works perfectly for a Victorian style. I mean, you got these very beautiful, delicate bats and like, oh, this little dangly dangly bit. So this is gonna go right here. I love that piece. Oh my gosh. Yes. Perfect. And I was thinking, um, I'm going to put, I have like this Victorian 
goth couple. I love this. Usually the skeletons, not really my thing. I mean, they're okay. They're usually really cute, but you don't really see them in all black like this. So I was just like, when I saw it, like this is what kicked it off near the beginning of this hunting season. I saw this and it totally inspired like this whole section of me wanting to do like a dark Victorian kind of style. I just think, oh, look at them. And like the details on her dress and it's just so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna put them, I think I'm gonna put them right here next to it. I think that'll look fun. There you go. I am gonna do, this is a candle holder. I think I got it at home last year maybe, maybe even the year before, but it's just, I don't know, this silver, black, red with Bat's haunted house and like a graveyard. I mean, this is amazing. And I have one of these battery operated candles. I think I'm gonna put it in here, but you do that and then it lights up the red parts of it. <sighs> so it's just so freaking cool. So I think I'm gonna put it on top of the black candle holder actually. That way you can use it to hold a candle, but like not one that's 100% lit, you know? You know what? Ooh, this will be real cute. Okay. <laughs> the ghost in a cloche. Come on. Look at him with the little bats and he does light up. <gasps> Ooh, I love this. It just gives me such a very eerie 1800s kind of vibe. Ooh, creepy. I love it. Okay, <laughs> this, yeah. I think that's gonna look really nice right there. And on all of this, I will show you guys it at night all lit up um, so you can get the full effect of how everything looks up when it's all lit up without all of these overhead lights and the ring light and everything. Sorry, Gypsy is playing. She just got home from the vet, so she's trying to claim her space again. <laughs> she's just, you know, playing with one of her favorite toys. So if you hear noises in the background, it's probably her playing. Don't mind it. <laughs> what else? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Okay. This is a tray I got Target this year from Bullseye Playground. It's the little tray with the snakes on it. I think this is going to look really interesting and fun right here in the front. And then I have an idea of what I want to put on it. First, ooh, this is Pumpkin. I got this at Home Goods this year and I was just so happy because I, I knew I wanted to do something like green and black and I love the like swirly twirliness of this. So this is super cool. You can put it right there. Okay, and then I got this little like, this jar at, at home this year. It's a dark green glass jar little black ribbon and a skull. It's pretty stopper. I think it'll look really fun right next to it maybe. I think that's looking cool. I like the different heights we have going on. I think that's gonna work. And then I think I'm gonna put, I have just like one of these cauldron candles. These are from, oh, uh, probably Bullseye Playground last year, a couple of years ago. These are the ones that were three dollars. They usually have them most years. I don't know if they had them this year, honestly, but I have. I think I have like four or five of these. So I think I'm gonna put one of them over here, just because I think that black is gonna look really good with all that. Yeah. Oh, it fits perfectly. And then I think I'm gonna put. I have a couple of these like little battery-operated tea lights. I got these at. I think I got them at Walmart this year. I got a couple of sets. I usually packs of four. So I think I'm gonna put these next to it. Just put maybe one right there and then maybe one right here. Yeah, just to add a little extra light on that tray. I think that looks cool. I think that's looking really good on that shelf. Let's maybe work on this upper shelf. Okay, so, 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 so. Well, I know for sure I wanna put, this is the little vampire. Can you see him? I got the little vampire bat cat. Oh, with the top hat. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's perfect. Like Victorian bat cat. I mean, hello. So I think I'm gonna put him like front and center. Oh, look at him. It's so precious. I have these little bat pedestals. I got these last year from Target's dollar section. And I think I got like three of them. Yes, I have three of them. So I was like, oh my gosh, bats, pedestals. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna use these to add a little bit of height to some things. I'm gonna put maybe one on either side. And what I'm thinking of adding is I have all oh, the different little bats 
from Target. I feel like this is all Target dollar section, basically. <laughs> this one, I think it was last year, maybe year before. I think it was year before. And this <laughs> is this year's. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is so precious. So I want to put, I'm going to put those on the pedestals. I think they'll fit okay. Yeah, I love that. Oh my gosh. And I'm kind of thinking, okay, so up here with Moses, Mrs. Beauregard, I'm thinking of maybe putting, I have this bat pumpkin, got this from at home this year. I thought this was just so lovely, so like very goth, dark, dark aesthetic. And it's like, I don't know, a little bit more like anatomical bat versus like cutesy bats. I thought this was really cool. I thought it would really work with like the Victorian kind of aesthetic. I'm thinking of putting it up here. I just don't know if that's gonna block her too much. No, I think that works. It doesn't light up, but everything else around it lights up, so I think it'll be fine. This is looking, oh my gosh, you're too close. Too close. This is looking really cute. Let's work on this little shelf now. So I have right now, so far what I already have here, this is the Bath and Body Works. Let me light it up for you. This is the Bath and Body Works like Raven candle holder. Again, this is kind of also what spurred off my Victorian. I saw the couple and I had this and I was like, ooh, because I thought this was very like lovely Victorian kind of style. Um, even though this is plastic, unfortunately, I just thought it was really cool. I have a vampire blood candle on it that I've been burning. Um, this is from like two years ago. I wonder if it has a year on it. Oh, these don't have years on it. I wish it did. I can't remember when I, I think it was either last year or the year before because I am a Halloween candle hoarder and have like, I know I have ghoul friends from like at least three different years. Vampire Blood's probably at least two. So this is probably last year's, but put this on there, you know, goes with the theme. I think what I'm gonna do, I have this, this is actually like a little ghost, um, they were like napkin holders. I don't know if you can kind of see there's a little holder you can put your silverware in. So it was like a set of four of these and my friend Claire had gotten the same ones and then she framed hers. And I was like, that looks amazing. I need to do that too. So I got one and I got this frame from at home. Uh, the napkin ring holders are from Home Goods, But I think I'm gonna put it like right here maybe. I like it kind of turned in towards the lamps the way the, the light from the lamp hits it and it like, I don't know, it glows a little bit extra. I think that's really, really cool. <laughs> this is my creepy ghosty ghosty. I got this one from at home, I believe last year. And I just love it's like super eerie face. So I think I'm gonna put it right here and then I have this little thing. Let me shake it up. Doesn't have as many little floaties as I thought, but this is the little, this is the little like snow globe, but not snow globe. <laughs> the Joanna Parker one that I found. This is Happy Halloween with the little pumpkin guy. And I love the bottom of this. I thought this was very like kind of Victorian-esque. I just love the style of it. I thought it was really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna put it like right under the lamp maybe. Sorry, I have, a lighter for like incense and stuff. Um, I actually, no ma'am, you can't eat those. Chip's trying to eat the trees. I do have a, this is the little candle snuffer I got from Target's dollar section. So I'm actually gonna keep this over here with it. I use this year round, but I kind of thought the like, just the very like matte black on it seemed very, I don't know, kind of, no ma'am. Chip is just eating all the trees. I thought this looked kind of Victorian. I don't know, it just seemed very like vintage with it. Not vintage, like kind of antique with it almost looking like cast iron um, and just completely matte black and I don't know, and it not moving much. It just seemed, I don't know, very old in its style. And I like it, I thought that would work really well with this. So I'm just gonna keep it over here for the candles and then I have a little incense holder too. <laughs> so, okay, back to the shelf. I have one more of these little bet candle holders and then I have this little ghosty I got. You know, I don't know. I think maybe Claire may have gotten this for me last year from Dollar Tree. And you turn it on, it's those multicolor lights. Um, I'm not gonna turn it on because I don't wanna like give anybody a seizure, <laughs> but I'll, I'll show it at the nighttime stuff and I make sure put like a, uh, a warning in case you 
have epilepsy or are prone to seizures from flashy lights, I'll make sure and put a warning, but that's basically what this looks like. I think I'm gonna put it like right there. So it fits with this, but there's like different heights. I have this little bat. It's almost like very pastel goth kind of bat because it's got the lavender and then the black. This is from last year's Bullseye Playground. I think I might put it maybe right there. Because I have an idea of what I want to put right here next to it. I actually have, I'm so excited. I have this candle I got several years ago from Michael's and it's a back candle. It's one of those where if you light it, it changes colors. And then Claire actually got me this one this year. It has the same bat, but the other side has a little hanging bat. I just thought it was so freaking adorable. That was so nice of her. Oh my gosh, thank you, Claire. And I think I'm gonna put it like right here. That way I can kind of light it, but it won't be too close to the lamp. I think it'll be fine. Oh, maybe I should turn off that light. Would that help? So I put the bat that's like hanging upside down there and I think I'm gonna do the one that's like this on the other shelf up top. Maybe like, hmm, maybe you can fit it up here. Actually, I like that because that way if I move it over, then he's not completely blocking that lamp. What else? Ooh, I do have a few, ooh, glitter. These are the glittery trees from Target this year. I might actually put them on this shelf just because I love the idea of like the trees essentially on all three shelves right there. So I think I'm gonna try and put it behind them. I know, again, if you're new to the channel, hello. Thank you for watching, first of all. Second, I am a maximalist to the max. So like I said, I like things very grandiose and very just a lot of stuff. I am not a minimalist. I'm very sorry. I know there are plenty out there. I'm sure you could find, but for me, this is my style. I like all the things. So I'm gonna put more things. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do, I kinda like that. I think it just adds a little bit more dimension to it. I don't know, it makes them look like the couples walking through the village, the goth village. What else? I know. What else, really, Jenny? Could you add more? Yes, I certainly can. There's actually only a couple more things, to be honest. One thing I thought would be really fun, I got this little set of bat string lights from, I think it was Dollar Tree this year. And I thought they were just regular bats, but oh no. You turn them over, the bats have like a smiley face and everything. It's just so precious. And these are super freaking bright. They're battery operated, which is again, super, super handy for decorating. I think I'm gonna put them maybe on, on this shelf, like around the little tray. Cause I feel like it needs maybe a little bit more light around it. Because like here, let me turn it off. I don't have that light on. And I don't have this light on. That's kind of what we're looking at. I feel like it could use a little bit more light just because this lamp up here is so bright. I think I'm just gonna kind of like weave it around this tray. <laughs> the little faces on that are just freaking so, so adorable. I'll make sure and do like close-ups of everything, especially again with the nighttime looks that you can see all the little details of everything. And these, um, if you haven't seen these before, these canvases with the witch, those are from Michael's. That one is from last year's. This one with the more of the Ravens is this year's. They do light up. I have them on, but the ring light, you probably can't really see it. So again, but nighttime you'll be able to see these and they glow like the moon on this one glows so much. And this one, it, she kind of glows and it's just, they are so beautiful. I absolutely love them. Again, majority of the stuff on the walls is year round for me because I am um, a witchy, naturey, spooky gal year round. So all of this kind of stuff, even like the curiosities and the spider and the witches and the cat year round. They usually it's the shelves and everything that I change up, but there's only a couple more things. So I'm thinking this little table right here. Um, I already went ahead and put some flowers and stuff in this. I'll show you. Look at this vase. 
And I put like some purple flowers, some brooms, some black with little candy corns and lots of these little twiggy things. I love this little vase. This was my great grandmother's. This is from like the seventies. Still has apparently dust from the seventies. <laughs> Even though I've had it like five years, I got this and I, I love it so much. It's just, I, this with this table, the teal is kind of what I built the living room around. So that's why there's so much like teal, orange and green because I loved this. And like, this was her old sewing table, by the way, I just painted it and I'm using it as like a little side table. I love it. My great grandmother, again, she's the one I was talking about in the last decorating video the one that like had lots of things everywhere. I feel like it just gets so much of my decorating spirit slash crafting spirit. She was a quilter. Oh my gosh, I'm getting sidetracked, but love, love my granny. I love her and I always keep her spirit around me. Um, but I'm going to put just a couple of things on this shelf. The cat, <laughs> I'll show you. This is a cat. Oh my gosh. It's got remotes in it. I keep this out year round on the table. I actually use it to hold phones. Like if we're charging it, the plug is down there and I just put the phone in there. Um, if we need to in the living room. And then I got this, uh, I'm not gonna blind you. I got this frame recently at Home Goods. I found it. it's like spiders and spider web. That was cool. This is a picture of Craig and I from many years ago. We were like camping or doing hiking or something in the woods. So I love that photo of us because we are we are nature people. So I always like to keep that out. <laughs> a couple things I think I'm gonna add to this table are. There's another cat to go with that one cat. Just kind of like, I don't know, keeping the retro theme alive right here, essentially. I think that's cute. And then this little ghosty from last year at, at home. I love it because it looks like a freaking like, what is that? Like toaster waffle, I don't know, like a breakfast pastry kind of thing. That's what this makes me think of with a ghost face on it. <laughs> I just think it's really cute, so. I'm gonna put them right here. Oh, I love that. I think that's really cool. So here's here's how we're looking right now. Oh, this shelf right here down below, this is like my crystal shelf. I kind of keep this just year round. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a close up of it, I guess. Yeah, I keep all that stuff year round, so I don't decorate that. And then the one below is just uh, random stuff. There's a little bit of a, a candle, a cauldron, because what witch doesn't have just candles and cauldrons everywhere. So I think that is all of this area. I will, again, I probably won't show the decorating of the entranceway, but I will show you it after the fact and show you the lights a little bit, just to kind of give you a bit of a close up on that because I think it's gonna look really pretty. Okay, I want to take a quick second and talk about the lights that I'm using for my, the doorway that I was talking about. So this is from Olni, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I got these lights from them and they are super super bright i'm gonna say that for one they're very long you plug it in and they have different um there's different settings on it so it has a little button on it and right now i have it just on straight purple and orange here's a little view before you guys get the night look but here's how it looks they are beautiful i gotta say i got this is one strand of lights that i was able to take over it like i think over and back and over and then halfway over. So like two and a half times, they're super, super long. So they'd be great for like an outdoor arbor because I think, or around your doorway outside because they're so, so bright. I mean, this is even with a lamp on how bright they are. So when the lights are off, it's like the whole room glows with this. They are really, really nice. Like I said, they have different settings. So you, there's a little button on the actual plug itself. You can hit it. So the first one, when you turn it on, it's just purple and orange. They have quite a few different settings. Then they have ones where it kind of goes between it, which is really cool. Then you can go just purple and orange back and forth. There's a couple that are flash. I'll try and go through those kind of quickly because I don't want to freak anybody out with the flashes. Oh yes, the fade in. So there's a one where it's just, it's fade in and fade out with purple. And then there's another option where, well, you flash back and forth. And then there's fade in and fade out for both of them, I think. I'm gonna flash again. There's a bunch of different flashing ones. <laughs> and then you can just turn it off. I was expecting it to come with a remote. It didn't, I mean, it didn't say it would. 
Yeah, I don't know if these are on a timer or not. I'll put on the screen. I'll let you know right here. I'll look it up and see whether or not they come with a timer on them. But either way, I really like these again because they are so bright. It says they're low voltage, so maybe it'll help with a little bit with your energy bill if you, you know, have a ton of lights. That kind of thing, you don't want to add any more to it. This seems to be pretty low voltage, so hopefully that'll help saving it. But they have a website. I'll put the link in the description below. And I'm not sure, again, if there's a discount code. If there is, I'll put it on the screen right now. And I'll make sure and put it in the description with the link for these lights as well. I really like them. I think these are awesome. I actually got two because I was going to put one on this side and then a little sneak peek of what's in that room. But I was going to put some on this side, but I haven't done it yet. I ended up for the garland. I just did... There's this like bushy leafy one and then there's one that's black like branches with little bats. So I got all of those from Joann's a couple weeks ago when they had all their garland for $7 each. I got a whole bunch of different ones and in this room it's just a leafy kind of burgundy orange and then the branches on this one as well. But again this one's not lit up but I still think it's a really really beautiful one. It just feels so grandiose. Here is my little entryway table. I already have all the lights on because I'm getting ready to film that nighttime part of it. But um, these are just the two I got from Lowe's. The little cat, you can't see the cat, but the cat on a jack lantern I got from Target. This is actually, let's turn it on for you guys. Look at it. I got this actually last year at Michael's on clearance after Halloween. I was able to get it for like. I think maybe 40 or 50 and this thing was normally like 130 so it's the whole like haunted hotel and there's so many fun moving parts to it I really really like it then just some jack-o'-lanterns a lot of jack-o'-lanterns I have from last year's kind of situation actually I think all of this is from last year's decor that I just found a different place to use it um, you'll see all that in the nighttime view but I'm really pleased with this little area I think it looks cute. Uh, but hope that makes sense about the lights. If you have any questions, please do feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, I'll try and answer them best that I can. But uh, thank you again to Olni for sending these to me. I really like them. And I think for the prices on them, they're really, really good quality. And they're totally worth it. So definitely check those out. So that is all the decorating for this part. Definitely make sure you stay tuned um, for the last part of the video. I will show you all the clips of everything at night and all lit up and it's just gonna be so magical. So you definitely wanna make sure and see that part. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this was fun. I don't know if I'm gonna do another decorating video because oh, the dining room is like half decorated, half who knows if it'll ever get done kind of situation. Don't plan on recording that one this year just because it's a chaos. It's just a pit of tubs and so much stuff right now. And I don't have the energy to do it. So um, this will probably be the last decorating. But we have so many other fun vlogging videos coming. I have lots of cooking ones planned. Lots of makeup ones. If you didn't already see, yesterday I did the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 palette review. Which, love chef's kiss. Make sure you watch that. I'll leave a link in the description in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, there's lots of really fun things to come on Vlogoween. So I'm really, I'm hopeful you guys are excited to see it all. I know I'm excited to do it all. <laughs> but if you guys did enjoy this, please do give me a big old thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell while you're down there so you don't miss anything. I do two videos normally per week, but because again, Vlogoween, I'm trying to aim for about four or so, so you definitely don't want to miss out. I do also have a Patreon if you guys are interested in supporting the channel further. I'll leave a link below. You can follow that, check out all the tiers, all the goodies. So I would definitely appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for everything and for all the love. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hotel Concierge, this is Gordon speaking. Can you help me get out of here? Of course. We can help you dispose of the unfortunates. Oh, man. Let's get out of here. Run! 
Get over here! <laughs> 